Earlier this week, I was at the bus stop and a man tried to kiss me. I was just um, like walking home and there was this guy and he kind of like tried to hug me. One of the worst experiences was, I guess, like um, being a child in like a school uniform and being catcalled by like older men. I think I was about like 14, 15 where I got followed around a station by like this grown man. It like happens quite a lot, but when you get used to something, you just move on really. 71% of women in Britain have experienced some form of sexual harassment in a public space. A Women's campaigners say these statistics don't to exist in a vacuum which is why they've created new education consent classes. I feel like people think that consent is given just because you're in a relationship, it's not. These workshops will now facilitate conversations around misogyny and sexual harassment. What do I need to know where consent isn't being given? Set up in the wake of Sarah Everard's murder, in response to the outpouring of grief and anger shared by many online, the organisers Shout Out UK and Reclaim These Streets are hoping to turn these conversations into a possible solution through education. The conversations were, were being discussed, but they were online, mostly people tweeting and Instagramming and just showcasing the outbursts and, and reacting quite emotional. But we want to kind of keep that facilitation and continue so it doesn't happen again, basically, so that if you talk about consent, you can spot the signs and you can have these discussions and, and then hopefully it can reduce this. Ultimately, that's the aim is to, to kind of reduce these really horrible events that have happened and, and, and try to find a way to mitigate them. I think consent is like, so it doesn't even have to be explicit. A yes one time doesn't mean a yes for like every single event that happens after that one single yes. This may not be the first time these students have been taught about consent, but these new updated consent classes will be more comprehensive. They'll be spread over three lessons and will cover everything from women's safety to gender justice to online sexual harassment. I've actually quite enjoyed it because although in a sense I knew, I thought what I thought I knew was like, it was basically just the fundamentals and the foundation of what consent actually is. Informing people now at such a young age about the importance of consent and how it's affecting others is, is very good because you know we have to understand that it's not okay to do this kind of stuff basically. I think it's important to like hear everybody's like different views and like because I feel like when you're like actively engaging like you're kind of educating yourself better. In England relationship and sex education is part of the curriculum but only up until the age of 16. However, these new classes will be taught up until the age of 18. There is a place for this kind of information for all students, for all ages. They do have to understand um, the laws, they do have to understand you know, how to stand up for themselves. So it's really important, as well as academia, that they're able to keep themselves safe. But how would you tell? Because like, you can tell so much from someone's eyes. But Especially yeah. if they're looking away as well. Yeah. yeah, if they're looking away, looking around, kind of like yeah. avoiding yeah. their face. Yeah. Yeah. These and sessions will initially be piloted in five schools before being rolled out across the country, hoping to spark meaningful conversations between teachers and a new generation of students. Natalia Hodkera, ITV News.